Have uh, you always been that in charge of your life? Have you always had the ability to do what you wanted to do with and for Aretha Franklin? Not always. Uh, to begin with, I was just thrilled to hear my music being played. Just, you know, I walked in the studio and the strings were playing something that I wrote, What is Romance Without the One You Love? This was the very first thing that I ever wrote. When I walked in the studio and the strings were playing that song, I just burst into tears. You know, I was just so happy. It was my music. And um, during those days, you know, who, who wanted to be bothered with meetings? You know, when are we going to get to the music? You just wanted to do you the know, music. I didn't want to be involved in the meetings, but after folks you know, pay their taxes and things with your money. <laughs> you, you, you want to be involved in the meetings now. You want to know exactly what's going on and who's doing what. And you better be involved because you're the person who has to do it. They don't have to do it. You're the one that has to do it. So you better get involved in these meetings. If Aretha Franklin had to live her life over, is there anything that you would change? No, nothing at all. Because you see, early on, um, certain things that happened here and there really were learning experiences. Once this kind of thing happens, it will never happen to you again. You know, so people shouldn't get bent out of shape uh, if they, they get into a, a spot that's a little rough sometimes. Sometimes that's a long-range blessing for you.